I think it's the best finish this off. Okay. Hey, there we go. Hi. Okay, so I'm Tawana Hines. I'm Rachel Cameron Russell. And we just watched <laughs> Orgasm Inc. At the Quad Cinema, which exists. <laughs> We took forever to fly. On the 13th, we didn't take forever to fly. Well, okay, well, well, Rachel's like, oh, it's on 13th, and I don't know, 6th or 3rd. No, I knew where it was, but then she made me nervous, like we were lost. Yeah, okay, so, okay, so, that's okay. 25 seconds. So we went seconds. to the 10 p.m. Okay. showing, and there, we were the only, there were there were two other people there, so. Exactly. Yeah. Um, what Your did thoughts. you think? Oh, okay. You, you go, go first. first. <laughs> okay. Okay, um. Well, I love the topic of the movie. I'm very anti-pharma in general. Tell them what it's about. Okay, so Orgasm <laughs> Inc. is by Liz Can- Canner. Canner. Can- it's a documentary. Documentary. Independent film documentary about um, sexualization of pharmaceuticals or pharma Around female sexuality. Exactly. Like looking for a female Viagra. Exactly. And so kind of the race. Intren- I blogged about Intrenza, actually. So like Intrenza, you know. The- oh, I'd never heard of Intrenza itself. Yeah. Actually, on, on funkybrownchick.com, <laughs> there's a post called Intrenza Wants to Make You Horny. And it was about this whole thing. And, and, and yeah. Funky Brown Chick is not sponsored by any pharmaceutical company. <laughs> There's no conflict of interest. No, exactly. I'm very anti-pharma, actually. So in the documentary, she follows several companies who are trying to um, get female arousal drugs. But I thought the most interesting thing was she kind of talked about the FDA approval process and how they have to have a disease to to market these products. And the disease became female sexual dysfunction. Exactly. Or or that that was what they created, basically. Yeah, the fact that pharma created the actual disease is pretty fascinating and fucked up. And um, they interviewed Carol Queen, who is a sexologist with... They interviewed. And vibrations. <laughs> they interviewed Carol Queen, who's a sexologist with vibrations. And what I thought was interesting, I'm trying to talk fast, is that she said um, female sexual dysfunction is like the hysteria of the 21st century. And I thought that was a really apt um, analogy. I completely agree with you on that. And not only that, I thought it was really good because the film, several people commented throughout is that tying this not only to like female hysteria but also like female genital mutil- uh, mutilation when yeah. we talk about kind of like designer labia and all this stuff or whatever. And so. Leonor Tiefer who's an activist. Kick ass. She's who's, kick ass. Who's I'm reaching out to you Leonor. These, um, <laughs> these drugs I thought you know she raised an important point and so did the documentary that it's not just especially for women it's not just physical and the, the head of, the founder of Vivas he said something what did he say about like I wanted to bring life back to dead penises. <laughs> yes! Yeah that was insane. It was like, okay. Okay, so, yeah, the whole thing was but just yeah. weird. Like but I, so I think if you're interested in female sexuality and also, you know, big pharmaceutical companies, you should see orgasming. Absolutely. It's a must-see for anybody who's into um, sex. sex, which is everybody, <laughs> you know, right? Everyone, like, uh, exactly. Anyone watching this. Okay, so what do you think? Thumbs up, thumbs down, out of five stars? What do you, what, what's your five ultimate? Sta- like, yeah. Three and a half stars? Out of Four five? Stars? Hater. I'm a hater? <laughs> I just said go see it. Okay. I mean, okay. I thought the... I don't want to. Now I, 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 I'm gonna. I'm don't gonna so not say anything. Don't be so much. Oh, sweetie, no. no. no honey. Oh, don't honey. be so much. You just okay. yelled at me, hater. <laughs> okay. Like I said, one star. It's no, three and a half. Three, three and a half is good. But what you, are you like? You're like five plus. <laughs> Five and a half. No, I would. Let, I'm. I, saw, I have a soft spot for a documentary, so I typically give them four and above anyway. No, so I would for, say for four the and information half for, for the topic, I learned a lot. Like exactly. I definitely four learned and stuff, content. and I I write about sex. I, I'm interested in the topic. I Lusty didn't know a lot. Dot blogspot.com. Lustylady.blogspot.com. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> okay, so orgasm ink, and I think. Oh, you know what? We'll what? link to it. I was gonna say I think it's orgasm ink. Dot org. org. Yeah, like orgasm, which was clever. Very, oh, very clever. Orgasm.org. Okay. Ah, okay. So okay. go there to find out more. All right. Bye. Bye.